Hi everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to find the volume of the largest cylinder we can see here cylinder that can be inscribed in a sphere of radius r. So here cylinder height is h and radius is small r this one and radius of a sphere is capital R. Now we are taking a right angle triangle from this point up to this center then this edge. So from here, here and up to the center. So we take this triangle here See here radius small r and this is the I mean sphere radius and this height half of the height of the cylinder it is h by 2. So using Pythagoras theorem we can find the relations r square plus h by 2 square plus equal to capital R square. So next step we can write like this and then easily we can find R square equal to capital R square minus H square by 4. Actually this equation we will use in volume because here there is a volume of cylinder. This is pi R square. I mean cross sectional area of this cylinder say if it is the area of this bottom circle then multiplied by height it will be the volume but in the next slide here r square we will replace this r square by this one r square minus h square by 4 the reason is once we get that equation we will do differentiations because we know to get the maximum volume of the largest cylinder we need to know first derivative it is equal to zero to be considered first then we'll check with the second derivative either it is coming negative or not if it is negative then we will be sure that the volume of cylinders larger cylinder a volume will be maximum so let's move in the next slide As I said, our volume of cylinder equations will be pi r square. I replaced it by this one and then h. As I said, we have to do differentiations. Why? To get maximum or minimum volume condition is first derivative equal to 0. So differentiating both sides of this equation dv by ds equal to this result will be like this so maximum volume we can write because as i said this must be equal to zero so this part right hand side we are writing equal to zero so let's find a relation between h and r so we got height of the cylinder equal to 2 times radius of the cylinders square root of 3 divided by so this relation we will use 
when we will find the second derivative. So second derivative we test to distinguish between maximum and minimum to be sure with either it is maximum or not. So our condition is already we have taken this first derivative 0 and second derivative right now we will do to see value comes negative or not to, sure, to be sure with that volume will be maximum. So let's do that. So differentiating both sides with respect to h. Which one? This equation. Already we got this equation in previous slide. So we are differentiating this. And we get this second derivative. So once we get second derivative, we need to replace this h by equal to 2r by square root of 3. These relations we got in previous slides. Now only our task is to replace this h by this. So we replaced it and at an end I found minus a square root of 3 pi r. It is negative. So it is less than 0. So we are sure now volume will be maximum at h equal to 2r by a square root of 3. We are sure now because already we got second derivative negative. So now substituting at h equal to 2r by square root of 3, we get maximum volume. Already we got this equation in previous slide. Only we are replacing this h by this. Because this was our volume equation. So h, we are replacing this at an end. We got 4 pi r cube by 3 square root of 3. This is the result we were expecting. And this is the volume and maximum volume for this inscribed circular cylinder in the sphere. So we are done.